welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I've been on here. I feel like it's been forever. Sorry it's been so long. We have had a lot going on. I got married in September and we moved to West Virginia the first week of October and we are living in a house up here. We're renting a house in West Virginia. I'm so excited that I finally be up here with my husband as he's working and his whole family, his mother and father and brother and sister, we're all living in the same house and it is amazing to have everyone together. I just miss my family back home, but I talk to them every day, so that helped. And now we have a little bun in the oven. We got a baby on the way. Her name is going to be Bristol. And uh, so that's enough talk. So today I'm going to be trying the new, well not new, but new to me because I just got it. Hang on, let me see if I can get it open. Oh, my gosh. Foundation and concealer. I'm going to drop that before. It's okay. Um, let's see what all this stuff says. Over 75% of women get foundation wrong. Get yours right. Apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Blend out with a blend brush or sponge. Do not use your hand. Wait five minutes for the foundation to set before checking your shade. Do not match your neck or wrist. They're a different tone from your face. <coughs> Sorry, I think I just got choked. Finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. Wear a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. Now, I actually bought this. I was going to do the free trial, but I just went ahead and bought it. Bought it, And I'm just going to send it back and get my shade if it's not the right shade, but it should be. And I also got the concealer, too. I got the F word, I'm flawless. In the shade 08. And I got the woke up like this flawless base foundation. It looks like this. I have not opened this. It's still pretty cool. Sorry, I don't speak well maintenance. And I got this in the shade 120. Now you just go on there on their website and it lets you take the quiz. It asks you all the questions. You just answer them, and it literally tells you everything. Like you answer them, and they'll tell you exactly what shade you're supposed to be. And it's supposed to be the perfect match. Now if it is, who knows? We will see. In this video okay so put some clips in my hair to hold it back and I'm gonna open this foundation to see I'm really scared that it's gonna be too dark because whenever I seen this shade like on someone's arm in the V in the pictures I was looking at yeah well this isn't working it looked a little dark but I don't know I filled the quiz out the best I knew so maybe it's good and this retails for four hmm. hang on don't let me let me look at that because I do not want to be wrong. Um, the, uh, I'm going to be using on half of my face. I will use the Morphe. I bought, I got a brand new one just to use for this. That way we can see if it does good. And the jh03 jaclyn hill foundation brush for the other side that way we can see which one does better a brush or a uh, sponge i'm sorry i'm online now to try to see how much it is sorry it's okay so i found it and it sells for 44 dollars or retails for 44 dollars I think this was 20 something. Actually, I have my receipt right here, but I don't just look. Just kidding, big thing. Plus one. Anyways, let's get started. So, first, I'm going to prime my face with the Fit Me Beauty Instant Retouch Primer. This is soft matte. And I really usually moisturize before I do it, but I just want to start on my regular face with this to see what how it does. So we'll see. I'm gonna do two pumps. It's actually kind of I don't know. I really like this a lot, so and I haven't I'm really nervous about this. I really hope it matches. I need another pump for my forehead. I've been having extreme dry patches. Anyway, so I'm just going to talk while I do this because no one likes a boring video. Um, I have really enjoyed being in here with my, living with my boyfriend and his, or my boyfriend. See, I can even, my husband and his family, I'm sorry. Don't watch this. 
if they're germ flow because I just opened this with my mouth. And it hurt my tooth. All dentists and germophobes around the world are hating me right now. Sorry about this, guys. I always struggle to open every product that I use. And if you go back and watch my other videos, which y'all should do that, you'll know that I struggle to open everything. And of course, I got the top part off. And now I have nothing to get a hold of. And I have more strategy on my hands. I'll be back. I'm going to go open this. So I got it. Finally. And um, I'm just going to pump this on the back of my hand. And then use my brush to go on this side of my face. And I'll also... I'll do a far away video of me putting it on. And then I'll zoom in when I get this side done. And show you what it looks like up close. So I'm going to start by... It says to use two pumps, but I don't know that I can use two pumps all over my face. So I'm going to start out with one pump and see how far it goes. Oh, it's kind of dark. Look how dark it looks. I'm really hoping. Hoping for the best. Oh, it's really, it's thin. Oh, it's kind of dark. I know they said to let it dry down, but we'll see. And, um... Uh, Sorry, I had to pull my mirror a little closer. My uh, mother-in-law bought a uh, ring light, and that's what I'm using this time, so maybe my lighting will be better. This is definitely a little bit darker than what usually I use, but I like really full coverage, and it is giving me that. Like, it's giving me the coverage that I like. I'm going to have to get another pump because I've already used that pump. It's giving me the coverage I like, so I really like that. And I'm not really having to, like, put a lot on to give me that coverage. I have to bring this down my neck because it is a little bit darker than my neck. And I'm sorry about my flaky spots in my skin. I'm also pregnant and my skin's changing and everything's changing. Let's see, it looks really good, honestly. I'm really shocked. I was so, 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 so scared that it was gonna be too dark. Like, I was really, really worried that it was going to be too dark, which it's still kind of, if I go down, like, it's really not dark. I love it. And I might add more to, like, build it up, but I don't even know if I need to. And the sponge side may look totally different because I've seen, I watched a few videos of people doing this just to see what people other people thought before I even ordered it. I know that's terrible, but I wanted to see what everyone else was saying before I ordered it and there was some really good stuff, so so I ordered it. But now I'm gonna be surprised. I was afraid it was gonna be too dark. See this is the side without it. Sorry my lights reflecting really bad. This is my side with it. It looks really good. So I'm gonna use the blender on this side now. I didn't I just wet this so it's nice and moisture. What the freak? Half of my sponge is like I don't know. It always does this when I first wet them. It'll go to normal. Okay, I'm going to start out with two pumps again. And I'm wondering if the sponge don't work better. Like. Giving you more coverage. Because I know most of the time. I don't know. It definitely gives you more coverage. With this, oh, I just got that in my hair. With a sponge, in my opinion. I um, I really like this though. It's actually really good. So if you want to do this, I would go in there and take my little your little quiz and get you some. I was very skeptical, honestly, because I like 
was hesitant. I went back a few times and looked, trying to make my decision if I wanted to do it or not. And if I wanted to do the free thing. Because you can get it for 14 days and just pay the $5. And then if you don't like it, you send it back. If you do, then they'll just go ahead and take the money off the card that you pay for the $5 with. Which I thought about that, but I decided not to. And two prompts did pretty much do this whole side of my face. And on the other side, I had to use three prompts, I think. So, the sponge definitely doesn't absorb it as much. I kind of look, I don't know. Maybe once I set it and give it five minutes to set like it said. I'm over here doing this on the side, but it's kind of like, hang on. I'm going to move myself a little closer. I don't know if it's like... When I'm looking at this mirror, it looks really, I look really tan, like it looks good. And when I look up and I see my ring light, I feel like I look orange and white, but I don't know. We'll have to see the finished product to see. And I'll have to wear it for a few, a little bit to see how good it does. I'm going to go ahead and zoom y'all in where you can see this side too now. This is the side of the sponge. It looks really good. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... I only had to use two pumps, like I said, so it is really, the sponge actually does a better job than the brush, but I love Jaclyn Hill's brush, so I use it a lot anyways. So, like I said, I just finished blending off my neck and everything with the sponge. It really did, the sponge did a lot better than the brush to me, but I actually think it, after, overall, it was really good shade for me. Uh-oh. -uh. How good this can this light is, lighting is on the camera yet because I can't really see my the lights bright, but it does look really good and I'm so impressed with it. Like I was so scared it was gonna be too dark, and I blended I did blend it down on my neck, which I probably need to go a little bit more because I can see more. But I don't know. I just choked myself. I really like it. It's really really honestly it matches matches pretty good in my opinion. So yes, that is actually really good. So, I'm gonna be using the F this, F I'm Flawless Concealer. This is in the shade eight. Well, I'm gonna also, use, I'll just use the other end of this blender for it to see how it does. It's really hard to get, oh. And now it's on the table. Now I'm gonna put that under my eyes. Wow, that is so creamy. I like that. It's hard to get in and out and it makes slings it so only downfall. It's like a tubing mouth tubing mouth malfunction. And I'll go right here. And then down the bridge of my nose. where I missed, I had it all over me. It's all over the tube now. Then I'm just gonna go in and blend that all out. Oh, wow, it's actually really good. I'm gonna carry this concealer up on my eye because I am gonna do the eye look as well today. Not with the El Maquillage because I didn't, I just get the foundation and concealer right now on them. Comment down below what other products you like of theirs. Might have to give it a try. I'm a sucker for, I can be bribed into anything. I'm a sucker for good makeup too. I've actually ordered the Jaclyn Hill brushes again, which I have all of these, Jaclyn Hills and Jeffree Stars and Morphe's, and I just ordered two more. When all of them are on sale. Oh, that looks really good. So today to be setting my face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty, and I got the shade Butter in this in this trans and not translucent in this loose powder. I absolutely love this powder. If you've watched my other videos, then you know that already. But I use my JH01 powder brush. Oh my! Did you see that fly everywhere? I put way too much on the brush. I'm shocked at how much I just put on that brush. Well, 
my face is baked. I love the smell of this. It's gonna do the same thing on this side because I put it again on there too much. I love the smell of it so much. I look like a freaking powder woman or something. I see it flying everywhere. It's like all in the light, in front of the light. I can just see it like little dust pigments flying. I really like to set my face really good though. I don't like to hug anybody or touch my face with my phone and get foundation on it, so. And that's what it looks like after I set it. I still really like it. It still looks really good. I really like it. Okay, it still looks really good. Now I'm going to be contouring my face. Sorry, I didn't mean to make a lot of noise. With the Shade and Light Kat Von D Contour Palette. We're using my, ouch. It's a mess too. But anyways, I'll be using the JH05 and the JH07. That's really the only thing I contour. Sometimes I contour my nose, but I don't really contour my nose a lot. Sorry, I'm just putting some light powders there. Don't want too much. I really have to do my eyebrows because I'm just looking at them driving me nuts. Um, now I'll be doing my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went off camera and did my brows. I used the Morphe in the color Latte. And just the spoolie from like it to brush. And now I'll be doing the um I need to do my blush real fast. I use the Tarte and Parasol. I really love this color. It's one of my favorites. I also got better at doing brows. If you didn't notice, I don't know if you've even watched my other videos, but if you watch them, you notice that brows was absolutely one of my terrible things. <laughs> I really am liking this foundation though. I really do like it a lot. I keep looking at it. It actually looks really good. And I'll do my highlight last because my my colors will fall out on it. So first I'm gonna go in with the Norvina volume. I don't know. It's the purple one. I could have swore it said it on the back, honestly, but I guess it doesn't. Anyways. Looks like this. My light's reflecting on it. And I'm just gonna go in with the JH07 brush, which is like this. I'm just gonna go in with, I guess I'll go in with D3, which is that red right here in the middle. And then uh, put that my outer crease and then blend it into the inner crease but lighter than what it was in the outer crease kind of like that that way it kind of looks pink faded into that but it's actually red And 
can just blend it really good. Make sure you keep blending it. Get it going real good. Just like that. Okay, and um, now we're going to be going in with the... Um, sorry, I don't really like that noise. I'm going to use the JH40 brush. I don't, on this, I'm pretty sure I said JH07. It has 37. Apparently, I'm blind. So, I just hit it. I'm going to go in with the... This one right here. It is B1. And I'm going to put that on this brush. And I'm going to put it right in this blank spot right here. To the outer corner of the lid. And I don't want to take it up too high and I don't want to bring it in too far. Just a very little bit. To give it a little bit of purple hint there. Like that. And then for the last little bit, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star. This doesn't have numbers, but anyways, this is just a flat brush. It's not dirty. It's actually clean. It just is stained from his pink palette. And I'm going to go in with this E4. It's like a coral color here. I know these colors don't really go together, but they actually look really good together. And I'm going to put that on my, in that little blank spot that's left there to give that pop of color right there in that corner. And I'll carry it out until it blends in like that. And I might even darken it up just a little bit. But really just like that. And that's what I'm going to do on that. And I'm just going to take the coral color I just used and go all under my eye. Like so. Like that. And that's how we're going to finish the look today. I'm actually going to be using the... Never mind. I'm going to use this. I got some shimmers in it. I want to put it on the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to use this right here. E1. And I'm just going to take that on my pinky place it right in the middle just pat it in like that to give the middle a little bit of shimmery definition and if you have sh my nails are really like long but they're not too long but if they were too long I would use the flat brush Jacqueline Hill's flat brush Just like that. And now I'm going to go in with some Elf eyeliner and a bit Bad Gal Bang mascara and I'll be right back. And now that I got that done, I'm going to be popping on some falsies. These are by Kiss. They're the Ritzy Natural Black. I really like them. And I'll be using the Kiss glue as well. And I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back. And, um, to finish off this look, I think, so all I got left is lips and some highlighter. I'll throw some highlighter on, but I'm using the Morphe Lip today in Hot Shot. I really like this. It's really matte after you. Some red lips. Make sure I don't have red teeth, but I'm gonna take the Warly highlighter. It's my favorite. And the Jaclyn Hill highlighter brush. Also my favorite. 
I just have it. My jaws are open. Look at that. My nose. And that's going to be it for the look today. Now let's talk about this foundation because it is really... My nose around my nose is usually where it's like cracking and stuff. So I'm like trying to see. I'm really impressed. It's actually really, 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 really good. Hang on a second. I'm going to bring you closer. You guys closer. Like. It is so. I cannot even tell. I'm really, really, really impressed with it. I really like it a lot. And so, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you um, want to, just drop some ideas below for uh, something I can try out. I will be posting more, trying to post more. I'm not going to say I will be because I am. I always say that and I never do. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you are wanting to order this, I would suggest maybe ordering it, giving it a try. You can always do the $5 thing and ship it back if you don't like it. But I really like mine and I will not be shipping it back. And, um, so yeah. The concealer is really well too. It does really, really well. I was going to get the powder, but it was sold out. So, with that being said, I just used my Fenty powder and it done just as good with it. And so, this is the final look and I really, really, really like it. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this and y'all have a great night. Bye.